So we are near the site of the old Polo Grounds uh, baseball stadium where the Giants played until 1957 and the Mets played in 1962 and 63. Um, we're looking down the Harlem River driveway with a high bridge in the background. And off to the right are the Polo Grounds houses, uh, which were built in the 1960s on the site of the old stadium. Uh, I and my friend and sidekick, Matt Summers, hey. uh, are gonna do a climb up the John T. Brush stairway, uh, about which more in a moment. So. Yeah. Now, um, John T. Brush was the owner of the New York Giants until he died in 1912. Uh, and the Polo Grounds were rebuilt into a modern stadium in 1912 after a fire at the old ball ballpark. And this stairway and the one we're gonna do right afterwards, we're built to provide access for people living up the hill in what was known as Coogan's Bluff and also Sugar Hill, uh, give them access down, down to the stadium. Uh, this stairway opened in 1913, fell into disrepair over the years, um, but in the past 10 years, the city of New York rebuilt it uh, with gifts from several sources, including, and I think this was a class act, $50,000 from the San Francisco Giants, uh, who were quite aware of their heritage. Uh, it's a beautiful stairway, magnificent condition, and this is a great day to be enjoying this. So up, up the last sets of stairs to Sugar Hill.
All right. So here we are, Sugar Hill, also known as Coogan's Bluff. It was called Coogan's Bluff because the Coogan family used to own a lot of the property around here, including the land the polo ground stood on. It became known as Sugar Hill because African Americans who had become prominent in the arts and other professions moved here because they found life to be sweet. Uh, Duke Ellington lived here. Paul Robeson lived a couple of blocks away. It's still a beautiful area. 